Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I'm Faith and today I have a wig review for you from a company that you may not have heard much about and maybe you never even wore one of their wigs but it's called Vanessa Hair and I would advise you not to sleep on Vanessa because they have a lot of really nice wigs. They may not look so great on the stock cart but once you get them they look way better. So let me just show you which one I have. This one is called Melt Plus. Etsy and I have her in the color Rolo and let me tell you a little bit about that. Um, Vanessa hair is known for having very unusual hair colors and I'm going to show you some examples of their colors. Um, I really love them because they're unusual but they're still wearable. They're not like, I mean some of them can be kind of crazy but they're really nice color combinations and that's what I really love about Vanessa hair. And this Melt Plus wig is supposed to be a deep middle part HD lace. And let me just show you what she looks like. This is her. And this is the color Rolo. And to me it looks like um, browns and auburns, um, a little gold in it. It's really pretty. And I love the curls in it. Uh, it's a middle part. And it uh, has two combs in the front and it has a comb in the back as normal and adjustable straps. The cap is, I guess you could say, yeah, it's stretchy. It's stretchy. So I'm going to plop her on so we can see what she looks like initially. So let's do that real quick. Okay, this is Etsy. And she has a little bit of baby hairs. It shows you in the front of the picture. She has a little bit of baby hairs right in the front. My first impression right now as far as the cat is it's a little snug. And I have a 22 inch head. And of course just plop it on my head right now. She doesn't look fantastic. But what we're going to do is we're going to style her. But let me show you the back before I do that so you can see what it looks like straight out the pack. Here's the side, first of all, and here's the back. Okay, so I'm going to go away and style her, and when I come back, I'll give you a closer look at the hair, and we'll talk about it. Now, when I'm wearing a wig like this, um, I usually braid my hair, and I try to use my own part, so I'm going to try that. So I'm just going to pull this back just a little bit and then I'm going to take this uh, rat tail comb and I'm just going to move my hair out of the way on both sides. Just try to move it over so that I can fit this right on top of my own part. Yeah. Since there's no lace in the front, I'm not going to worry about gluing this, especially since it feels so snug. So I'm going to put powder in the part of this. Don't need a lot because I want it to look natural. Yeah, you always want these parts to look as natural as possible. Okay. Then I'm just going to brush it a little bit and see what I can do if I need to add any like baby hairs or anything to this wig. The curls are staying in pretty nicely. Yeah, and I'm, I wouldn't say that it was like yakky, I guess. I guess it's silky kind of silky. Just trying to figure out what I want to do with it. Because like I said, I'm not going to glue it down. I think it's pretty. Um, I'm wondering um, if she would look good on the side, even though I've put the part in here. And another thing is, I'm going to see if I can utilize her baby hair. You guys know I'm not a big fan of those, but I'm going to see what they got here. 
and if I could possibly use them at all because they do have some I mean they're supposed to have some yeah here they are here they are and they're thin too which is good because a lot of times you have to pluck them out but these are thin so let's see what we can do with these just gonna cut them a little bit oh, yeah. some of the longer hair is getting in the way I'm just going to cut the ends just a little bit. I don't want to cut too much of it off. And I'm going to use this small thing as she is bomb. I didn't get a big one because I wasn't sure I was going to really use it much. Because you guys know I don't do baby hair. So we're going to see what we can do with the she is bomb. With these baby hairs. Okay, so far so good. <laughs> this a little bit here swoop it a little bit here I think this one's got some two long hairs on it let's just swoop it up yeah there you go so that's that I've got the baby hairs swooped on here. <laughs> yeah, I think she's cute. <laughs> and I had to turn it off, but I wanted to show you guys a close-up of the color. Here's a close-up of the color. This is the Rolo, and I don't know why they call it Rolo, but that's the, that's the Rolo. That's the color. And, uh, yeah, I... I brushed it a little bit, so I'll let you see what it looks like a back brush. It's, it's kind of one of those, you know, kind of messy bedhead kind of wigs. It's not necessarily um, any kind of style, but I, there's something going on right here that is bugging me, and I don't know what it is. There's something going on under here. Oh, no. Okay, it looks like, oh goodness, yeah, there's a problem here. It looks like where this um, track is, that some of the hair is kind of matted. I don't know what happened. I guess it's just this particular wig. But yeah, it looks like some of the hair is kind of matted right where this, um, yeah, it's right where this um, track is. Maybe I can comb it out. I'm trying to comb it out. Yeah, there's just a little bit of problem right there. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but yeah, it's okay now. But it was like a little matted there. I don't know. Sometimes these wigs, I tell you, uh, sometimes you can get really good ones and sometimes you get duds. But I think this is cute. Um, I really do like this. Um, I like that I can kind of swoop this bang. And you can also, because of the fact that there's hair here, and then you can kind of put, you can even kind of put it behind your ear. Like that if you want. And I think that's cute. Yeah, I do that on the other side. Yeah, I like that. I think that's cute. Yeah, get the, uh, the swoop bang to act right. And I think it's kind of cute like this. Yeah. You know, hairspray it down some. Let's get some hairspray here. See if we can hairspray it down a little bit. Kind of get this to act right on the sides. Yeah. Yeah, I find that hairspray helps a lot when I'm doing wig reviews to make my hair not look so crazy. And, you know, it sometimes it helps with the flyaways. But, of course, um, the wax stick helps with the flyaways, too. But yeah, I think this is cute behind the ear with the little uh, with the little piece sticking out. That's cute. Yeah, so again, like I said, I have had a few Vanessa wigs and I've liked them. Um, not everybody's crazy about Vanessa, but um, I do. I like them and I think this is a really cute wig. This is a cute uh, everyday kind of wig. This Melt Plus called Etsy. That's her name, Etsy. 
and yeah I just think you should check out some of the Vanessa wigs because I know we're always wearing Outre we're always wearing Bobby Boss and we wear Janet collection sometimes we'll wear it's a wig but um, for the most part we don't really wear much Vanessa and I think that they're cute and I think you should just give them a try um, I had a couple of Vanessa wigs that I did and I'm gonna link one of them up there so that you can see the one that I did I did two I think yeah I did I did one called Kina or Kiana and I did uh, Darlene, which oh, Darlene was a beautiful wig. Darlene, and uh, Darlene is still available, so you should go check that out. But yeah, these, uh, I think these wigs look really nice once you put them on your own head. Sometimes their care card is deceiving. And that was the case for me for both Darlene and Kiana. So again, and I really love the fact that they have these really interesting uh, colors. The colors are really interesting. Um, yeah, so and I don't know why they call this a HD lace. I mean, it's just a part. So, but you know, it's not a, a frontal. But uh, yeah, let me know number one if you've tried Vanessa before or any Vanessa wigs that you've liked. Uh, and this piece just keeps wanting to be unruly here. I want it to lay down, and it doesn't want to lay down. It's just kind of sticking out over here. I don't know what's going on with this one, but yeah. But this is uh, this I think is a really cute everyday wig. Um, and I don't necessarily feel like it looks wiggy. I mean, some people may feel like it looks wiggy. Do you think it looks wiggy? I don't necessarily think it looks wiggy. Um, I think it's cute. And I like it. And uh, I like the fact that the curls stay in it when, you, when you're brushing it too. That's nice. It's always a plus. So I'm going to put the information for Etsy down in the description section for you. Uh, if you were interested in purchasing her. I actually got her from Shop Hair Wigs. I don't know if you've ever shopped there. Um, I think they're affiliated with Ebony Line and I know a lot of people aren't crazy about Ebony Line but I've not had any problem with Shop Hair Wigs. The only problem I've ever had with them is that they were out of something that I wanted. But um, yeah, I go there sometimes when I can't find something anyplace else and Shop Hair Wigs is the only place that you can find this Melt Plus Etsy wig. So yeah, again, I'll put the direct link so that you guys can go directly there in my description section. Yeah, I think this is cute. It's curly and it doesn't shed. It doesn't shed, which is nice. And like I said, it has a little instant um, baby hairs if you want to utilize those. Um, I don't know what it would look like as a side part because I already put the baby hairs down. So I don't know if I want to turn it to make it a side part. But maybe I'll take some pictures of it in a side part and I'll put them out on my Instagram. I really like in this Rolo color though. You know, I really like this uh, this color. Look at that. I think that's really pretty combination of reds and browns and things like that. It's just it's cute. I really like it. And again, like I showed you, they they have really cute color combinations for their wigs, and they're they're pretty uh, unique in that because even though Outre and some of the others um, put out um, wigs that have multiple colors sometimes. These guys have always had really nice colors, so yeah, so go and check them out. Okay, so <laughs> if you guys are interested, again, I'll put the information down there. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And we are working on getting to, this is crazy, we're working on getting to 4,000, so if you guys can, you know, tell your friends and family and that that uh, we're trying to get to 4,000 on my channel we're almost there but not quite and uh, again in the coming months we're going to be doing a lot of different things a lot of new things that I think you guys are going to enjoy so um, yeah so thanks for joining me for this one uh, and ladies as I always say if you're going to show love to anyone today please show it to the creator I'm still looking good and of course so are you see you next time